Hi, good morning, friends. I am Vesha Kishan from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In our subject, fluid mechanics and hydraulics, today we are going to study a new topic, which is dimensional analysis. Now, first of all, what do we mean by the word dimensional analysis? So, let's start the topic. What is dimensional analysis? So, it is a method which converts one unit into another unit a method converting from one unit to another unit is called dimensional analysis so basically dimensional analysis a prob is a problem solving method that uses the idea that any number or expression can be multiplied by one without changing its value here dimensional analysis is mainly a problem solving method so any number or any expression can be multiplied by any number without changing that value so it is a problem solving method so first of all for dimensional analysis here you can see there is a 3d cube length width and height if we indicate as l then for this cube distance has dimension l area of this cube dimensional l square volume of this cube is l cube now time we indicate time mostly by unit second and the indication for time is t and the speed speed has dimension meter per second now meter per second is indicate as l by t now what is this L T? So let's see in detail. Uh, first of all, any fluid characteristic are divided into two parts. First quantity wise and second quality wise. Here quantity is number or units and quality is with respect to primary qualities. So we are considering basic quantities here. We are focusing on quantities in this chapter. So, four basic for primary or fundamental quantities are, if you remember, then in last cube, we indicate area meter square. The unit of area is meter square. So, we indicate L square. So, basic we indicate length with L mass of any fluid with m, time t and temperature with theta. These are the primary quantities which we used in our whole chapter. So, remember length indication is L, mass that is m, time that is t and temperature that is theta. Okay. So, here uh, the quantities which possesses more than fundamental dimension or quantities that you have to remember this table. In this table, the first quantity is area. Now we know symbol for area is capital A and we know the equation for area which is length into length. So, unit is meter square which is m into m meter square. Clear? length into length that is meter into meter meter square second volume which is v and v equals to meter cube that is length into length into length meter cube so m into m into m equals to meter cube you have to remember the basic quantities for solving the numericals the third is density now density indication is rho and equation for density that is mass mass per volume now we know mass per volume that is length into length into length which is meter cube so here unit is kg per meter cube so kg per meter cube written as kg meter is to minus 3 okay next quantity is velocity velocity indication is v now equation for velocity is displacement upon time we measure displacement in meter and time in second so unit for velocity is meter per second that is meter second raised to minus 
वन ओके नाउ एक्सेलरेशन वी इंडिकेट एक्सेलरेशन बाय ए एंड एक्सेलरेशन इज वेलोसिटी बाय टाइम वी नो द वेलोसिटी दैट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड टाइम इज ऑल्सो इन सेकेंड सो हियर यूनिट इज मीटर इन टू सेकेंड रेस टू माइनस टू विच इज रिटर्न एज मीटर सेकेंड रेस टू माइनस टू एंड द लास्ट क्वान्टिटी इज फोर्स हियर वी नो द इक्वेशन फॉर फोर्स एफ इक्वल्स टू एम इन टू ए मास इन टू एक्सलरेशन सो वी नो द यूनिट फॉर एम विच इज के जी एंड एक्सेलरेशन दैट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर सो हियर इज के जी मीटर सेकेंड रेस टू माइनस टू दिस आर द बेजिक क्वांटिटीज बेसिक डायमेंशन दैट यू हैव टू रिमेंबर नाउ इन दिस डायमेंशन वी इंडिकेट एम बाय एल एम दैट इज एल सो लेट सी वी मे एक्सप्रेस फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज इन मास लेंथ टाइम विच इज योर एम एल टी सिस्टम और यू कैन से फोर्स लेंथ टाइम एफ एल टी सिस्टम देर आर मेनली टू सिस्टम्स फर्स्ट इज मास लेंथ टाइम एम एल टी एंड सेकेंड इज फोर्स लेंथ टाइम एफ एल टी सिस्टम बट हियर वी आर यूजिंग वी आर डीलिंग विथ एम एल टी सिस्टम ओनली सो दिस इज बिकॉज ऑफ टू सिस्टम आर इंटर रिलेटेड टू न्यूटन्स सेकेंड लॉ विच स्टेट्स द फोर्स इक्वल्स टू मास इन टू एक्सलरेशन नाउ एज वी नो दैट एफ इक्वल्स टू एम ए सो एफ इक्वल्स टू एम एक्सलरेशन दैट इज मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वेर सो यू कैन राइट डाउन एल डिवाइड बाई टी स्क्वेर सो हियर इक्वेशन फॉर फोर्स इक्वल्स टू एम एल टी रेस टू माइनस टू सो थ्रू दिस रिलेशन वी कैन कन्वर्ट फ्रॉम वन सिस्टम टू अदर सिस्टम एज यू कैन सी द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड टर्म ऑन दिस इक्वेशन विच इज फोर्स इन विथ विच इज इन फॉर्म ऑफ फोर्स एंड वी कन्वर्टेड दैट फोर्स इन टू लेंथ मास एंड टाइम विच इज इन एम एल टी सो बाय यूजिंग दिस रिलेशन यू कैन कन्वर्ट एनी सिस्टम इन टू अदर सिस्टम एंड दिस इज योर डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस एंड दिस मेक्स नो डिफरेंस वी द रिजल्ट आर द सेम बाय कन्वर्टिंग देर इज नो एनी चेंज इन द रिजल्ट द रिजल्ट आर सेम ओके नाउ there are some basic dimensions of some common physical quantities as length which is in meter indication as l mass m time t velocity meter per second which is l into t raised to minus 1 acceleration meter per second square that is l t raised to minus 2 force kg meter per second square so kg that is m L t raised to minus two discharge meter cube per second. So L cube into t raised to minus one mass density kg per meter cube, which is m divided by m into L raised to minus three pressure that is m L t raised to minus one and t raised to minus two and energy that is m L two. T raised to minus two. These are some uh, common physical quantities that we use for uh, in remaining chapter. Now, there is another term, another theory, which is dimensional reasoning and homogeneity. Now, what do you mean by homogeneity? So, uh, the fundamental dimensions and their respective powers should be identical on either side of sign of equality now what it means so let's see here uh, for simple example if we are taking a expression where x plus y equals to z x plus y equals to z if x equals to 1 y equals to 2 and z equals to 3 is clearly numerically true but if the dimensions of x y and z are identical you can say that x equals to 1 and y equals to 2 then x plus y equals to 3 which is z so z equals to 
this is true but numerically and only if dimensions of x y and z are identical so what is the second condition if dimension are not identical so uh, consider there is a one elephant you are taking one elephant plus two aeroplanes equals to three days which is a clearly nonsense thing here one plus two equals to three for that the dimensions must be identical for all three quantities you can't take summation of one elephant plus two aeroplanes equals to three days okay or you can say uh, it it can be written as one meter the dimension is meter plus two meter equals to three meter and this is your accurate answer so this is called homogeneity is equation is dimensionally homogeneous if all the terms have same dimensions all the terms must be in same dimension then that equation is called the homogeneous equation so let's see one example here like if we consider this equation where v equals to under root 2 gh we know the equation for velocity v equals to under root 2 gh now if we are taking dimension on left hand side term which is velocity so we know the equation for velocity which is meter per second that is l t raised to minus 1 okay now taking dimension on right hand side which is under root 2 g h now under root 2 g that is acceleration due to gravity and unit for g is l by t square which is meter per second square into l that is your h so you get l into t raised to minus 1 now taking dimensions of lhs equals to dimension of rhs here dimensions l raised to uh, l into t raised to minus 1 is left hand side l into t raised to minus 1 is right hand side so lhs equals to rss so v equals to under root 2 gh is dimensionally homogeneous equation clear so this is called dimensional homogeneity okay now the next theory is methods for dimensional analysis and mainly there are two methods for dimensional analysis first is rayleigh method and second is buckingham pi theorem method now we will discuss all these two methods in detail in our remaining lectures for this chapter okay students goodbye